Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use artificial intelligence to improve your smart contract development uh, inside the settlement BPASS platform. So to start off, we're going to want to create a smart contract set with an already created um, blockchain system in place. So I've already gone ahead and done that. I have Hyperledger Bezu and I've created this smart contract set called AI Contract. Um, and let's open it up. And let's go to the IDE where we can begin development. We're going to click on view in full screen mode to make it a bit easier for you guys to see um, all this stuff. But what's really cool about this feature using artificial intelligence from OpenAI, uh, ChatGPT, we're able to massively uh, improve the development time for creating new smart contracts as well as for um, editing existing contracts. So for debugging, so if you have any issues there, it can help you do that. Um, so it's great for beginners and for advanced developers. Uh, what's really cool is that it even comes with explanations on different smart contracts that you've built. But let me show you. So here on the left, we're using uh, Genie. So it comes already installed in any uh, IDE in the settlement platform. So you can already begin artificial intelligence uh, using artificial intelligence as soon as you got it. Um, but so let's ask it in this box to write a Solidity ERC-20 token representing a bond based on Open Zeppelin, include a bond repayment and coupon payments. So this is the type of contract that we want. We've given it, and it, look at that. It's already building out our smart contract. So it's giving out uh, all the different functions that we will need, and it's all based on ERC-20. So I'm just going to close these as well. Um, and so it's still going and we can see if we go up, uh, it has maturity dates, coupon rates, bond principle, all these different things that we would need in needing to make a bond, um, which is exactly what we asked in the uh, script that we gave it. Um, what's really nice, it comes, it comes with an explanation as well. So the bond token contract extends the ERC-20 contract. Um, the maturity date, coupon rate, bond percent issue with variables are used to store the bonds and maturity date and all these things respectively. The constructor functions used to finalize, used to initialize these variables when the contract is deployed, et cetera, et cetera. So you already get a really nice explanation about what your contract even does. Now, it's really cool. Um, if you want to use it, we can already just click this button, insert. And there we go. We have um, our contract into our uh, VS code right now we're in uh, a markdown file. So that's why we're not seeing the colors. So maybe if we close these, uh, we close that. maybe we need to open up our files. So you go here in our files, open contracts, example.sol. So this is a solidity type of file. We go back to genie and then we can insert it here. And there we go. Now we get the nice colors that we get with, um, uh, with VS Code. Um, this is from the example before. So we want to delete that. And there we go. Now we have our contract in Solidity format. Um, and so, yeah, this is a really nice for being able to start any type of smart contract that maybe we won't want to do. It won't give you potentially the exact thing that you need. It doesn't read your mind, but it would get you pretty close, right? So let's say here, um, I see here, you know, the total coupon payments, uh, they're Calculating this by multiplying the balance in the coupon rate divided by 100. Let's say I want to actually make it by 10. So I delete this uh, 100 here. Um, what I can do now is I can click here on diff. So this will help show the differences between the selected code or file and the one that was being generated by the AI. If I click that, and here it notices that I've made a change, that there is a difference between my contract, which I've edited, uh, and the contract that I originally received. So you can track those types of things, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, you also have um, lots of tools inside of here to be able to debug the code, to be able to improve it, to optimize it, and all these different types of things. Um, if we just like go through uh, right here, you go on editor view, so you can add tests, find problems, optimize, even ask to explain more about the contract. Um, ask it to complete our contract. 
So you can massively, massively reduce the amount of time that spends on trying to develop your contract and instead spend more time on testing it to see if it fits your use case. But yeah, there you go. So every instance of settlement uh, BPass now has Genie uh, when you create a smart contract set. So you can use it already immediately um, when you start developing on settlements.